Oh, I forgot my train of thought. Okay, so Gilbert, Little House on the Prairie. I would sit there <clears throat> and my aunt would ball her fucking eyes out every time that stupid dad said something because she wanted that idealized father in her life. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't even have a dad. I've been... I was raped as a kid. I didn't know who raped me at that point. I didn't realize it was family. And nobody really was honest about anything going on in my life. But boy, was she going to bawl her fucking eyes out every time, goddamn, every time Michael Landon got on the fucking screen. And the only thing that made me cry was um, Where the Red Fern Grows. Why? Because that's companionship. That's why. The dog loses the other dog, and then it dies. That's like normal life. But not an idealized fucking dad. Fuck Michael Landon. Anyway, so then then we have Sarah Gilbert. That fucking little dyke bitch. Come on. I could so fucking take you. I'm going to kick your ass, by the way. If I see you, Sarah Gilbert, I'm going to fucking rip your hair out, okay? I'm going to go fucking cat on you, okay? I'm going to go K-H-A-T, cat woman on you, okay? I'm going to rip your fucking eyes out and push your eyes in. I like your girlfriend that broke up with you, and I'm glad she did because you're trash. You're just trash. You fucked up the whole Roseanne Barr franchise. We all get Roseanne Connor. And Dan, well, Dan's my uncle that raped me, so that's real cool. Finding that out after my mom and my grandma died with a koi pond was real, really sweet of them because there's a koi pond out front. I remember that part of being raped. I remember the house. I remember a lady whispering that she needed to blah, blah. They were like talking in the hallway and then suddenly somebody comes in my room and zips and puts their penis in my mouth. That's what I remember. And I remember my aunt ran it upstairs and probably got an IRS job for that shit. Balling all over Michael Landon. Well... Where's your daddy when you need him? Well, he's probably drinking with kids like you. That's what he was doing. He was drinking. I'd be drinking too with kids like you. Oh, God. So, Roseanne, I want a lawsuit because some of my mom's jokes would end up on there. My mom was Roseanne Barr, okay? And guess what? Rosie O'Donnell, get the fuck off of her, okay? That's like Susan Tagalong Day. That's like Tina Kotek Tagalong Day. You're not Roseanne Barr. Nobody likes you. Why don't you go paint horses? Go make you see yourself. Go paint horses somewhere. Jesus Christ. Uh. Anyway, so now we got the new Gilbert. So we had Gilbert and Little House on the Prairie. Then her sister, Sarah Gilbert, the lesbian that got her way paid for, and an education, and still can't seem to wash her hair. And now we got Michael Gilbert giving us gay porn and militarized gay sex. Wow, thank you. So I made a big spiel. Because I didn't understand that what was going on in Portland was called a storefront. I didn't, you know, I call myself, I, I should, should know by now, I call myself a British storefront because in my heart, I'm very Catholic, very French, and very, I guess, Turkish Austrian because he was a Turkish man hiding behind the swastika because he's afraid of racism, I'm finding out, you know, way back in the 1900s. And, um, yeah, um, so I tend to like Italian men to, I guess, what my grandmother Mary would call a spy or a spick. Um, so I tend to like him a little brown and Turkish looking. So what, what, what are the Mormons? They, they have a, a Latino living next door that has a Turkish beard. They had move in just to piss me off. And uh, Scotty, is that you? Is that your kid? I'm pretty sure it's one of Anita's foul things. Um, would you stop? If you're working over there at Subway, I just called and said, you need to stop hitting on every goddamn woman like you're a sperm sprinkler, okay? Now I have a homeless pregnant woman making up some shit about a homeless girl that was murdered by the camp. Another fucking lie. These people have been feeding me nothing but terrorism lies since they got here. Lies and bullshit. And I was attacked with a, yes, I was attacked with a um, sledgehammer this um, winter by Miguel. I get it. There's Gail Chips and you hired a Latino and his name's Miguel and I'm supposed to be Tarzan? What the fuck is this shit? Okay, it's not funny anymore. And when I'm attacked with a sledgehammer, I, have, I had a bruised thumb. My whole, whole door was ripped apart in front of cops. That's not cute. 
Okay? Now, cops, if you're taking payoffs for Chris O'Donnell, this isn't a television show. This is my fucking life. And I want out of this fucking dollhouse. Okay? So, anyways, about this goddamn gay porn. Is it depressing? Well, it gets me off. It gives me a hard on. Is it bad morally? Well, you never raised your hand when a, when a woman that looked like my mother when she was Megan Fox hot, was taking on 100 guys in Czechoslovakia. Now, one of you stood up and said, hey, it's immoral. But boy, you're talking about morality when I'm like, hey, hey, JD, you want to fuck? Oh, no. I mean, you kind of look like the guy from, they come from a land down under. No, his one eye's always looking over here. Hey, over here, over here, over here, JD. Jesus fucking Christ. And I'm just joking. I don't want you. I mean, my God, I get a crush every two seconds because I'm so fucking lonely out here. I fucking hate it here. I'm living with a bunch of cowboys that want to get their cowgirls pregnant. I don't have anything really to say to much of you. But I just like a guy that looks like he can get a job done. What can I say? If you look like he can get a job done, I might be interested. Hey, he looks like he can hit my clit. Can he ring my bell? Can he, um, can he touch my rose? You know, whatever. Whatever the fuck the euphemism is today. But God damn, I'm tired of people. And I just, I'm kind of just tired of the whole sex thing. But is it depressing? So we went on, went on a whole thing, how gay people should be depressed about their sexuality. You know, here's what I'm going to say about, since I've been challenged, and I know this challenge is coming from Susan because she thinks she's cute. So here you go, Susan. Here's what I'm putting forward because of your gay sex bullshit. We now have a thing called the stag party rite of passage. And you have a choice. And it's for both the woman and the man, or two men or two women. Now, if you choose to engage in a stag party challenge, that's what this is what I'm coming back with because of your fucking bullshit. The stag party challenge was sex, money, power. So, in the stag party challenge, you can choose one of the three, and you have to film it, and then you have to exchange tapes on your wedding day. I think that's appropriate. So, like I said, I'll do a five guy gangbang, sure. Sure, if they're all models and it's just a lot of fun and kicks, and then we'll exchange tapes. Now, you got that choice, or you can get a $20,000 credit card that your fucking husband can't afford, so he's dependent on you. Now, that's what a smart bitch does, so I might take that credit card. So you got sex, money, and then power. So power, let's say you have a lot of money or you have an estate. Maybe he's marrying you for all the wrong reasons. You can just get rid of that and, you know, give it to somebody else. Give it to charity. How do you like that one? Yeah, go fuck yourself, Susan. Go fuck yourself. Don't meddle in my life. You're a meddling piece of fucking little childish shit. <laughs>